In May of 2017, artist John Ross Palmer took his annual international art adventure to the enchanting island nation of New Zealand. In the long history of his travels for art, this was easily Palmer's farthest global destination. The journey started last year when LGBT activist and the lead plaintiff in the United States Supreme Court case for marriage equality, Jim Obergefell, selected the winning essay. Inaugural FCC members Richard and Joan Jennings' winning essay focused on Palmer's welcoming personality as being a key factor to his success. After much research by Palmer's husband, Ryan Lindsay, on the most welcoming places in the world, on January 7th at the Jennings home, Palmer announced that this year's travel would take him to New Zealand to create the series Auckland 2017. His 11 paintings would be created 7,000 miles from his beloved hometown of Houston. Prior to leaving, Palmer and Lindsay hosted a luxury breakfast send-away, including a grits bar, where they shared private details of the upcoming expedition with the VIP members of the FCC. Because of the generosity of the First Class Club, Palmer and Lindsay were able to hire the elite tourism company The Road Trip to organize their fast-paced itinerary and privately guided tour. Then, from May 23rd to May 28th, expert tour guide Alex Cameron took the pair on a whirlwind tour of the North Island of New Zealand. Immediately following the 6 a.m. landing of New Zealand Airlines flight number 28, day one touring began. John and Ryan entered Middle Earth village of Hobbiton, made famous by the Lord of the Rings movies. That night, they went back in time transfixed by the singing, dancing, storytelling, and cuisine of the native Maori culture. On day two, the couple explored atop the Pacific Ring of Fire and admired thermal baths, mud pools, crater lakes, and volcanic activity in Rotorua. The Lady Knox geyser blasted off like clockwork at 10.15 a.m. to launch day three. The pair then saw the immense power of the Hookah Falls. On this night, they slept at the glamorous Chateau Tongariro at the foot of Mount Nungaraho, known by the Lord of the Rings fans as Mount Doom. Day four kicked off with an exhilarating whitewater rafting expedition. The remainder of the day was spent on a fabulous farm stay, learning about sheep and cattle farming before enjoying the incredible hospitality of Neil, Virginia, and Emily. Breathtaking glowworms were the highlight of day five before John and Ryan spent the night at the grand farm home of Philip and Karen. And finally on day six, Alex took the artist and his husband to Auckland where for the next week, Palmer would create the majestic Auckland 2017 art series. In addition to his intense focus on Auckland 2017, Palmer engaged in international diplomacy and performed three notable art presentations in New Zealand. On Tuesday, May 30th, he presented Hamilton Gardens to Hamilton, New Zealand Mayor Andrew King. On Wednesday, May 31st, Palmer presented Kiwi to Melanie Higgins, the Consul General for the United States Consulate in Auckland. On Thursday, June 1st, he presented New Zealand Christmas Tree to former Auckland Deputy Mayor, Councillor Penny Hulse. Palmer's latest international series is rich in authenticity. It perfectly captures the Kiwi culture and its reverence for the land, sports, and humankind. Palmer will now unveil the much anticipated Auckland 2017 series on July 28th at his historic Houston Heights Art Gallery. Palmer would like to give thanks to his top art patrons and members of his first class club for underwriting this trip of a lifetime. April Ayers and Karen Bean. Bill and Judy Lindsay. Carolyn Watts. Daniel McFadden, 
Dr. J.P. Anderson and Alfredo Tijerina. Dr. Lynn Dickens. Julio Montano. Margaret Ferenz. Richard and Joan Jennings. And Ellen Yarrell.